Hello folks, thanks for tuning in, and I'd like to welcome you to my very first of what I hope will be many specials. This will be a Thanksgiving special that I'm calling a very backpacker Thanksgiving. So stay tuned and we'll make us a little all-in-one Thanksgiving dinner for the trail. I'll go over my ingredients here. I have one ounce of freeze-dried chicken, plus two tablespoons of frozen mixed veggies that have been dried, and one teaspoon of dried onion, the kind you get from the spice aisle at a grocery store. Moving on down, I have one 28 gram portion of instant stuffing mix with two grams of home freeze-dried apples added in. Over here, I have one 28 ounce serving of butter and herb style mashed potatoes. And finally, I have, and finally is my bag of dried cranberries. I'm gonna throw a few of those in so you get the whole deal. Okay, so I have about 12 ounces of water in my stove here. And I'm going to begin by adding in the chicken and veggies and letting them soak for about 10 minutes or so. Ooh, that was a nice hiss. Look at these guys, they're just floating around on top like little chunks of wood. It's funny, when I was prepping for this, I was actually snacking on these and they do partially hydrate with your saliva and they actually taste pretty good. Cold soaking your food is a great trick for helping to conserve fuel. By basically allowing water to slowly percolate in cold before you heat it, you're not wasting fuel heating something and then possibly reheating it again or giving it a long simmer time. Soaking is now done, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a handful of dried cranberries and stir those in. We've now reached a boil, so I'm going to kill the heat. And I'm also going to take it off of the stove because it's a little unstable with that small fuel pod. I'm gonna go ahead and stir in my mashed potatoes. This, this is too much water for all these ingredients, so you'll see how it all comes together in a little bit. We've now reached the time to add our stuffing mix. And this is just off-the-shelf stuffing mix. I'm not gonna waste my time here, but I did add my apples to it because I think stuffing needs apples. And by the looks of it, I'm only gonna use about half of this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lid that up and let it sit for a bit to fully hydrate. Had a good time to set there. And if you look, Got yourself all the comforts of home, all in one. So there you have it. Everything you could expect from a Thanksgiving meal on the trail. You got dinosaur, you got potato, you got stuffing, you got veggies, cranberries. What's more to ask for, besides some company. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in.